Ooh, uh. And it's day 10 in Corinus, once again sleeping on the bench outside. So, we're gonna do the mission, uh, sitting outside. That was obvious all along. Fiddle around in his chest here, because we're gonna do the little delicious? side quest where we help out Randolph win the competition. Nothing you can do about it. That was no big deal. And he'll never know the difference, supposedly. I hardly know who to believe these days. That's no secret. I've got somebody who wants to compete against you. Who might that be? Randolph. <laughs> Randolph the Braggart. All right, why not? Send the wimp to me and the deal stands. You can pick him up again no more than two days later. Who knows? Maybe you'll get lucky and he'll be able to stand by then. How big is your bet? Time for things like that. 100. That's what I like to hear. I'll take your bet and hold it until the contest is over, all right? Here's my stake. All right. Don't take too long bringing Randolph here, you hear? He never would have thought of that himself. It's a fun fact. Apparently, all of my gold disappeared halfway through day nine, and I didn't notice until I tried to pay him for that stake. And, uh, yeah. I was like, what do you mean I don't have a hundred gold coins? I just had a grand. So I, I couldn't figure out what happened. I didn't get knocked out and somebody took my money or anything like that, obviously. So I went back to through the footage to figure out what happened exactly. And yeah, at some point, when we encountered the, the guys on Akil's farm, before we got into that scrap, I had 1,049 gold. And then after that scrap happened, Bearing in mind, I didn't get knocked down or anything. I just had zero the next time my inventory was open. So I have no clue how the hell that happened. So, uh... Notice that I do have my gold back because I put in a cheat code. Because there's a code that conveniently gives you a thousand gold, but it takes away a hundred XP, which is basically nothing, but still. Unfortunately, I'm still out the 49 gold that it didn't make up for, but whatever. How much money do you need for the contest? 10 gold coins. I'll give you the money to compete against Rukar. Really? Thank you so much. I'll repay you soon. If I win, I'll even fork out a little more than that. I'll be seeing you. There we go. Good deeds. So yeah, out the 49 gold, might as well have paid for the tavern, but I don't even get the benefits of that. But I honestly could not be bothered to insert another thousand gold and then subtract and try to hide the other 951 coins. I mean, I guess I could have just tossed it in somebody's chest, but uh, doesn't matter. Not too worried about it. I was worried about losing a thousand though, that's kind of a kick in the balls for not even screwing anything up. Let's go talk to what's-his-face. Actually, yeah, we'll talk to Errol too on the way, give him his tablets back because I keep forgetting about those. About those stone tablets, I've got some. Thank you, that's enough. Now I could keep my promise to the water mage in town, and then go home at last. I'll pay you for them, of course. I'm going home now. Come with me, if you like. Maybe I can sell you a few things that might interest you when we get there. Wait a minute. Said... I need information about a weapons delivery for the bandits. Weapons delivery? Yes! I know about that. Some swine from the city sell them so many weapons that they can barely carry them all. Some of them are kept on the bridge where those bastards attacked me. The rest of them were probably hauled past Bengar's farm on the high pastures. Maybe the bandits wanted to take them across the pass. Okay. Where are those high pastures? Orland's Tavern is located just about the center of the island of Corinus. It's called the Dead Harpy. 
So now. There's a way south from there. It leads to the high pastures and the entrance to the pass to the Valley of Mines. All right. I kind of forgot that we're going to have to go back to the Valley of Mines. And if you thought it was a bleak shithole before, you ain't seen nothing yet. I take it the contest is underway. That was a fine mess you got me into. Now I can play lookout for Rookar again. Why? As long as he's holding his little contest in there, it's better if no outsider learns about it. It's not good for business, you see. Like a you problem. Am I being paranoid, or are you staring at my ring? Well, I'm, I'm not quite sure what to make of that. It's an aquamarine. Ever seen one before? Yes, I have. Well, oh, welcome to headquarters, brother of the ring. What can I do for you? Ooh, headquarters, huh? Do you know that fellow with the eye patch? I've seen him here before. Nasty piece of work. Back then, he moved into one of my upstairs rooms, along with a huge crate. He had to be constantly nagged about paying the rent for his room. And even then, he took his own sweet time about it. Then, one day, he vanished, just like that, along with the crate. Uh, I don't want anything to do with the likes of him. I thought Errol was going to the city, but he's headed to the farms. Show me your wares. Certainly, brother of the ring. Holy shit, you do have some good stuff. Ah, Scar's sword. It's called the Orc Slayer now. It's actually the sword you start off with in Gothic 3. Cool looking sword. Alright. We're gonna go back to the city. I don't know where the fuck Errol's going, but... I'm going to the city. Actually, the guys on Ack Hill's farm mentioned that there was bandits over there too. Maybe we should go check them out, see if there's more evidence of stuff to do with the weapons deal or whatever. Because we've got a rapier with the letter on it, but I suspect that's not enough evidence. Need a letter or something. Go scout around this farm up here and see if we can dig something up. Because other than that, I think that's all the bandits, aside from their main headquarters. Oh, and the lighthouse. I forgot about the lighthouse, but both of those are pretty heavily guarded, I think. The lighthouse might be a bit of a challenge. And I definitely don't think I'm ready to take on main headquarters of the bandits. Because we barely survived the bridge. Scavenger. Disappeared on me. Yeah. Yeah. Get close to the path, because it said there was monsters here. Well, the word they used was nasty monsters, so I assume there's tougher stuff further up the trail. The bandits seem to like hanging out around the trails, so I probably won't be too far off shit. There we go. Oh, what is that I see over there? Bet you that's it. Bandit hideout. How many are you? Just the wimpy ones. Uh oh. Where? Whereabouts? Come on, where are you? I don't want to come in there. Yeah, he's stuck in the wall. 
What was I saying about the pathfinding? Take both of you. Shit. Stop right there, you low life. He's got a bow. He'll probably start shooting at me. What are the odds of hitting? Practically zero. Okay. Heal up. Again, spent the night on the bench, so. Chowing down on meat that I cooked over the night, because there's no time passing mechanic when you just sit on the bench. Only when you go to bed. Damn it. Like the other bandits to be in there. You're in. Good. Where's the other one? Shit, I gotta go. Stop right there, you low life. Oh, I'm bleeding. At least he doesn't seem to heal. I'm stuck in a tree. I want to get behind something in case he pulls out his bow. I should be too far away, but you never know. Yeah, man. Let's go fight him. It's a nice trail of blood I left myself. Shit, he's fully healed. No, you weren't supposed to heal. It's not gonna stop shooting. I'm glad he got, like, a little confused or whatever the fuck. Cause otherwise that wouldn't have gone well. Take the bow. And your stuff. Ah, man. Weird looking fish. Ah, I think that starts off the fishmonger side quest thing. Sheep skin, so boss brick can yell at me for stealing farmer sheep. Stinking note. Alright, let's go see what that's about. Where's the other guy I killed? Are you shitting me? This bandit's still here, but the one that I haven't looted despawned. <sighs> this game is so full of dick moves. Another wolf down here, but I'm probably just gonna go back to Corinus. We'll hunt wolves, then we can at least get some money from Bosper. Hit the bodies. Yeah, this is another dark, dingy looking forest. I'm not so sure that I wanna be up here to the lighthouse. Take a look. Orc Elite. You thank you. Those are way too tough. I honestly thought that they spawned in in later chapters. I didn't think they were already here. But uh, whatever. I guess we're going back to Corinus. City of Corinus, not the island. We're already on the island. We can tie up a couple of loose ends there. We can go have a chat with the fishmonger. We can go talk to Martin about the weapons stuff because I'm pretty sure we've figured out more about that quest now. 
I suspect he's going to want more than just the initial. He said that they needed concrete proof. But I suspect it's that rich bastard in the upper quarter whose name started with F that I can't remember. <laughs> Pretty sure it's him. Actually, technically, I could go to the upper quarter, like, and talk to Hagen now, too. I'm pretty sure Andre said I could, I just didn't. Because that's, like, the whole next part of the main quest for the original part of Gothic 2. The next thing we're supposed to do is go to the Valley of Mines, but... If I'm honest, I want better gear before I go there. Not a fun place. Okay, maybe I'll talk to Vatras first. Since we're right here. Hey. Dude. About those missing Thanks people. Too. Yes? Let me tell you what I know. The farmers have lost some people as well. I have found out that the bandits are responsible for the disappearances here. The leader of the bandits is named Dexter. He is responsible for the kidnappings. I knew Dexter back in the penal colony. He was working for the ore baron Gomez then. He certainly will remember you. Uh, you should be careful. I think you're on the right track. Just carry on. Oh, wait. Weapons hey, dealer. you! About this weapons dealer. Oh. Okay, fine. I'll go just talk to Martin, I guess. Martin and Halvor, the fishmonger. Maybe we can figure out what's going on with the weed as well. Since I never did do that. Where do I find out about stuff about the weed, though? One thing at a time, though. Talk to this jack. Oh, he's not even out. Fine. I'll go talk to Martin. Uh, about the weapons dealer? Show me what you have. I found this rapier with the bandits. The letter F is carved on the pommel. And? What else? That's all. That isn't enough. That could be almost anyone in the upper quarter. It looks as though you'll have to follow the trail of the bandits and the weapons delivery farther until we find out who's behind it. Maybe you should talk to Vatris again. I just talked to Vatris. He had nothing to say. Okay. Next thing. Where is this guy? Ah, oh, there he is. Thought about his morning cycle. I think this piece of paper belongs to you. What? Let me see. Uh, okay, let's stay calm about this. Uh, listen, I have resold the goods I got from the bandits. But there's no reason to take this straight to the militia, right? I'm sure we can come to an understanding, can't we? Where did you pick that up then? Alright. Make me an offer then. Alright, I'll tell you something. I can sell you more than it just fish. Like this forever, if you hand me this ridiculous piece of paper and uh, forget about the matter, uh, you and I can become the best of trading partners. Oh, really? What kind of goods would those be? Well, I could offer you uh, quite special fish. You see, not just plain ones for eating. You mean like the one that contained your hidden message? You've got it. I have several of those fish. No problem solving themselves. 
All right, it's a deal. I think we can keep this little matter between ourselves. Nothing's ever gonna change. Thank you. Just drop in next time you happen to be in the vicinity. I'm bound to have some interesting things for you. Show me your fish. Uh, I don't have a price. Is it free? No, they're not free. Huh. Okay, well, I'm just gonna take them all. And see. Because I'm pretty sure we only would have got 100 gold from him if we turned him in, so presumably this might be worth more. At least in the long haul. Maybe not right now. Lock picks. Ring. Ring. Blade protections. Not terrible. Ooh, 50 gold. Lump of ore. Huh. What's a lump of ore go for? Okay. Um. We will make our way up to the upper quarter. Hey. I mean, he doesn't have a name. But he's smoking. What is he? Where do you get your weed, hmm? Hey, you! Do you know where I could buy some weed? No. No idea. Hmm. I'm gonna go talk to Andre. There's gotta be something more to that weed quest. Really practicing. Um. Hey, Andre. you! Can I finally see Lord Hagen now? You are now in the service of the Paladins. They will let you in, but you had better have something important to say. Don't worry, I do. Remember that you are meeting the Chief Paladin. Behave. Yeah, okay. Um. About that okay. weed. I'm still working on it. Good. Remember, you must get that fellow to do business with you. Okay, fine. Have you got another assignment for me? Lobart the turnip farmer has problems in his fields. If we help him, it will solidify his relationship with the city. So go to him and see what is wrong. Sure. Okay. I feel like he might have said something before about one of the guys helping me. Who all's here? Oh, this is where all the boys sleep. Who's got a name? Back. Nothing. Mortis. Hey, Here's you! Smith. Hey. What do you know about the Harbor District? I want to find the one who's selling the swamp weed. Well, the guys down there really don't talk much. And they're guaranteed not to say anything to one of the city guard. If you want to learn anything down there, you should... No, you have to take off your armor. All right, and then? The tavern and the brothel are probably the best places for you to go. If you're going to learn anything, then you'll learn it there. I gotcha. Okay, that's probably why I couldn't get anything out of Cardiff. Fine. Sounds like a plan. I wonder if uh, what's his face would have told me something if I wasn't wearing armor too. Interesting. 
Curious as to whether or not they have memory. Like, I mean, surely they've seen me walk around in the armor. We'll see if we can get some headway on the weed quest and then we'll go check out the upper corner. Just because I'm down here. I don't know why I always go this way. And this fucking fence! I always forget about it. Alright. Mr. Information. That's not what I heard. I need information. Ah, there it is. Where can I buy weed here? Certainly not here. All right, where then? I'd talk to Meldor if I were you. After all, he smokes all day. Ah, <sighs> fuck. Okay, let's go talk to Meldor. Except I already talked to him. So, hopefully he doesn't remember that I'm a member of the militia. Maybe he's stoned and doesn't remember. One can only hope. Shit, it's gone. Fine. Well, I hope I didn't soft lock that one out. I don't think I can talk to this guy, but he is smoking, so I'm gonna try. He can't keep anything to himself. All right, they also said the Red Lantern. Let's go here. Do you know anything? Do you know where I could buy some weed? No. Piss off. As if I didn't have another problem. Fine. What are you? You're smoking hey. away. Come back to me the next time. Hey, you. I can only talk to you if you speak to Bromar first. Fine. Hmm. Can I get special goods here too? Sure, all my girls are very special. Oh god damn it, If you have enough gold, you can go upstairs with Nadja. Fine. I want to have some fun. Fine. <laughs> You're not likely to forget the next few hours of your life anytime soon. Go upstairs with Nadja then. Have fun. This girl hey, taking you. all of my money. Let's go upstairs. Today's your lucky day, baby. Let's go. I assume she won't talk to me unless I'm up there. Walk so slowly. This is your room. I'm gonna talk to this other girl while I'm waiting. Hey! Ah. Where can I find myself some weed? No idea. Better keep your fingers off of that stuff. Because if you keep asking about it, you might burn them. That sounds mildly threatening. I bet you she knows something. Where can I buy some weed around here? If you want me to tell you something, you better part with a few gold pieces. How much do you want? Fifty gold pieces should do the trick. I have spent so much money on you. Now tell me where I can buy weed. Talk to Borka, baby. He'll have some weed for you. Ah, Borka's the dealer. That prick. Okay. I fucking knew there's something about you. I've heard you're selling weed. Says who? That's an open secret. Um. That's not what I heard. 
Fuck, I remember something about this. There's a right choice and a wrong choice. And I have a feeling it's not that. That's beside the point. I just want to know who sent you so I can be sure you're all right. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. Yeah, he's prying. I have a feeling he kills her or something. So, do you want to cut a deal or not? All right. <laughs> Let's make a deal. You give me 50 gold pieces and then you'll get your weed. No haggling. I won't tell her a thing. Let's make a deal. Here's the gold. All right. You mustn't believe everything you hear. You are so Here's suspicious. Wizardous stalk of weed. He'd better shut up. Where did you pick that up then? I can't take care of everything. Surprise! Everybody knows by now. Got my own opinion about that. Uh, Everybody knows. Wow. That's totally fine. That ties that up. Yeah, fuck. I felt like I remember there is something about that. Like, I think you can fail the quest if you give away who it is. Because it puts him on high alert. Don't remember for certain. Okay. Um, well, we tied one thing up. We'll go talk to Andre. I'd really like to get the better armor. Like, I'm pretty sure I can't progress to a paladin until after I do the main quest some more, but I gotta go to the Valley of Mines to do that. And I would really, really like better armor before I go there. That armor. That's the heavy armor. At least I assume it's an option. But obviously you can't just pay for it because I tried looking around for people to sell hey. it to me. Maybe it's on a, like, honor system, like you have to do something. About that weed, I know who's selling the weed in town. It's Borka, the doorman at the Red Lantern. Indeed? Do we have proof? He sold me some swamp weed. Fine. That's enough for us. I shall have him arrested at once. Here is your pay. <laughs> Barely covers what I paid to get that info. Alright, fine. Let us go to Lobart's farm. Take care of some stuff for him. I would really like a better weapon. But I need a lot more XP. The following decree is hereby enacted. Martial law is immediately declared in all cities and regions of the realm. All civilian judges are to hand over their... Maybe on our way over we'll stop by the upper quarter. And so he set himself between. I haven't got a clue what's on his farm. It's probably not good. That's really not my problem. So why won't they listen to me? Where are all the rich guys? I've heard a thing or two. Tell me. Ah. And there's more. F. It's fucking this guy. I know it. You've been selling weapons to the bandits. But what makes you think that? The swords which the bandits were carrying bore your initials. You can admit it now. I've blown your cover. I didn't mean to do that, believe me. First, all they wanted from me was food supplies. Business was really slow. So I got involved with them. Then they became more aggressive and threatened to kill me if I didn't sell them the swords they wanted. You can't blame me for this. I'm a victim of circumstances. Oh, that's a really weak argument. Ah, okay. Now, we got The gotta... militia is gonna deal with you. You can't do this. I should say I can. You'll be amazed. Bye, Enos. I'm ruined. You are. That's simply done. Yeah, I'm pretty sure him admitting it is going to be good enough. Fuck it, let's go. I was going to go to Lobart's farm, but now we'll go back and talk to Martin. There's a lot of back and forth. I feel like they intentionally put the points you need to go to really far away. 
I mean, there's good points and bad points to that. Like, one, it kind of draws out the gameplay, but two, it also, like, gives you opportunities to find other side quests along your way. That's an open secret. Because otherwise you could just, you know, pick off a couple of things that are isolated off and then just continue on with the main quest and forget about all of this stuff. Kind of like the Oblivion Skyrim problem, like you like travel halfway across the map to do a quest and then pick up 50 other quests well, along the way. Uh, about the weapons dealer? Show me what you have. I found this rapier with the bandits. The letter F is carved on the pommel. Besides that, Fernando, the old trader from the upper quarter, has admitted having done business with the bandits. And? What else? That's all. It's nice that he admits it, but unfortunately, without solid evidence, I can't do any more. I don't oh, want to look ridiculous sakes. in front of Lord Aegon. You'll have to get me more. What the hell am I supposed to do? Break into his house? That will never change. <sighs> that was obvious. I can't believe that. So either... This is just my musings on it. Either the weapons are tied up with the headquarters of the bandits, which is where Dexter is, and I'm pretty sure I'm not ready to take those guys on. Or I gotta break into his house and find evidence there. Either way. Not sure which house is his, though. I mean, I am militia, so maybe they'll just let me wander around people's houses now. Uh, he really should have known better. Can't rely on that. I hardly know what to do. House is Fernando's. Hmm. We should find some evidence. Nobody seems to care that I'm here. They're like, oh yeah, you're with the militia. You can be here. Oh, Valentino. Don't you worry. I'm gonna rob you. Smart kid. I'm a guard. Even these guys don't mind. Now. Is anyone around? Can I just take this? I'm the best guard. These people are rich. Fuck them. Fuck the rich. Damn it. There we go. I mean, that's nice. Probably cost me more in lockpicks than I got, but whatever. Better than nothing. Really was hoping for some incriminating evidence, but I don't even know if this is his house. The houses aren't labeled. I have no idea where he lives. A lot of beds here. Oh, this is the where the guards stay? Presumably. Chest key, a small mass key from the House of the Paladins. Alright. Now what would a key that the Paladins have do for me? What is that on the wall? It looks like a switch. Uh... What the hell is that? I gotta scroll, but like... Actually, hold on, let's open this up. What scroll was it? Huh. Nope, that's not it. 
Is that what moved? Hmm. This is where the paladins stay. Oh, it's the key that I stole. I gotcha. I have expected it to be empty because it just opened instantly. Oh, that's nice. Robbing the paladins. Okay. Which of these is Fernando's house, though? Seriously. He stands out here. Is this his house? Just listen to him talk. Everyone came in. Hey, you're not quite as stupid as you look. Tell me that isn't true. Really not much is it a problem if I come in here, but every other house is fine? Smart kid. Gabrant. The wrath of the gods was with them. More, believe me. Who is this guy? My name is Ludero. I buy and sell all kinds of things. What wares do you have to offer? Well, especially rare and unusual things. So far, I've always managed to fulfill my customers' wishes. And it's gonna get even worse. Are you looking for anything in particular? Yes, for my current assignment, I need the claws of a snapper. But not just any old claws. It would have to be something special. The claws of a mighty beast who has killed many men already, or something like that. Where can I find snappers? There are a few of them on this island, but most of them live in the Valley of Mines. And what's in it for me? I could get you a ring of invincibility. I'll see what I can do. All right, Show what do we got? Speed potion. <laughs> wow. There's only one though. That's really shitty. You don't say. Um. Oh. Oh, it's a store. I was like, oh, welcome, okay. traveler. Looking for a fine potion? I have a large selection and reasonable prices, and my potions are much better than the stuff that Zurus sells. What do you got? Show me your wares. Ha, ah, he's got a crossbow under his bench. That's funny. Oh man, he's got some ridiculous spells, but uh, not much that I care about. I see that switch there. Will you have a problem if I do that? No? That's good. Oh. You will have a problem if I do that, I'm sure. Fine, I'll leave. I know who I'm robbing when I come back. That's not where my husband thinks. No one really. <sighs> okay. Let's go to Lobart's farm, I guess. I might have to learn Sneak to go into Fernando's house. Because everyone seems to be bothered by me being here. Problem? I want to look around. I don't even see stuff. Okay. It's fine. I was hoping for like a chest that might like contain a letter or something incriminating, but I'm not seeing anything there. So maybe it is just the bandits. Oop, there is a chest over there. Hey, you're not quite as stupid. Fernando doesn't seem to care that I'm here, so I don't know which house this is. To wait till he turns in for the night and follow him. Anyway, let's go see what Lobart's problem is. <sighs> this weather. 
I think the weather is decided on a random number generator, but I'm not 100% certain on that. Alright, Lobot. Let's got you down. Oh. You, uh, you have a bit of an infestation going on here. Hopefully it's stuck in the fence. Well done, one round. dirty beast less. This was the most praise I've ever gotten. Okay. I take it those are your problem, Lobart. Wait a minute. Andre sent me to you. Is there anything I can do for you? Yeah, sure. Those damn field raiders are making me sick. Do them all in. I don't care how. I only have one tool. Um, they're pretty tough though, like they still soak up a lot of damage. So I'm gonna try to abuse the fences a little bit here. Ow, it's still getting me. So they can clip through quite a bit. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Oh shit! Not far enough back. Nice that they do a little hop back. I swear you can take their mandibles, like... And obviously I need to get uh, snapper claws for that guy. Like, somebody obviously teaches me that stuff. I just don't know where to find them. Maybe it's all in the Vowel of the Mines? I do not remember. You'd think Bosper would be the guy to teach you that stuff, but clearly not. All he knows how to do is skin wolves. Don't know how he's the master. Ow. Okay, back up a smidge. Come on. Ow. Get back on your side of the fence there. That is pretty brutal. But they could kind of like clip at different distances. It doesn't seem to be fixed. Shit. Oh, that's it in the fence post. Oh, there's no fence here. Shit. Hopefully it just dies and hopefully the other one gets stuck. Okay. There. That... That miss rate is still ridiculous. How many arrows do I even have? 57. Okay, is that all of them? Does that count, Lobart? The boys can go back to work safely now. I've done away with the things. Well done. Well, you're not a bad exterminator. I'll recommend you around. Here, take this as payment. I mean, that's not really much, but fine. I'll take it. Okay, so we can report to Andre. Maybe if you do enough missions for Andre, like he gives you some sort of honors and then you get upgraded to the better armor? I don't remember how that system works. It's obviously not like Gothic 1. Because there seems to be two levels of armor. I think there's two levels of armor for each class. Because we know the guards, there's this and then the black armor. The paladins, there's the knight armor and the paladin armor. 
Mercenaries have the rogue armor, or what used to be the rogue armor, and the uh, old heavy mercenary armor. And the sea released the land, and there arose all... Um, and I think there's like light and heavy dragon hunters as well. See what happens here. Andre, I'm back. Most efficient soldier ever. Hey. I've helped Lobart. Excellent. If Lobart is happy, then he will continue to sell his turnips to the city. Here is your pay. I mean, the pay is pretty consistent. It's not too bad. No upgrades to the armor, though. That's kind of shitty. Hey. How do I get your armor? How's your duty? Oh, these boys swing their swords like farmers. But when I'm done with them, every single one of them will be a tough, hard bastard. Let's begin with the training. That's not... Where should I start, with one-handed or two-handed weapons? That's entirely up to you. If you specialize in only one type of weapon, you automatically learn the other at the same time. If, for instance, you're good at fighting with one-handed swords, but still a beginner with two-handed weapons, your two-handed skills will go up as well whenever you train with a one-hander. In that case, the training is more exhausting than if you train with both types of weapons. Just start, and you'll soon see what I'm talking about. Okay. <sighs> cool. So, what are we doing about Fernando? Maybe I go talk to Bosper. This moment like... onward, Lord Andre will take the supreme command of our militia. All the okay, citizens of this new. city who have marshals. Told me it was new news or something like that. But uh, yeah, I'm. For trying to figure out where the hell I can learn better skinning abilities because I've got like a few spare learning points to begin with anyway so I might as well put it into something watch me something there you are again I've got a few skins for you a sheepskin you didn't go slaughter some farmer sheep in the pasture did you I wouldn't dream of doing that Wolfskin, that's good. Good work. Come see me again when you have more. All right, show, show me your wares. Hmm. Actually, here's what we can do. The quick thing that we can probably do to sum things up. Let's actually go talk to Lord Hagen. We can progress the main quest a little bit, because I'm pretty sure at this stage he just tells me go to the Valley of Mines. Uh, but I'm not 100% certain on that, so we'll get that out of the way. And then we can make our decisions about where to go from there. But I still want to stay here. Only men who are in service to the king may enter the town hall. I am a member of the militia. All right, you can go in. Like I said, I want better gear before I go into that danger zone. I have already heard of you. Lothar has reported that you wish to speak with me. You are the stranger who has demanded the Eye of Innos. I am Lord Hagen, paladin of the king, warrior of our Lord Innos, and commander-in-chief of Corinus. I have much to do, so do not waste my time. Tell me, rather, why you are here. The hosts of evil are gathering very close to here, in the Valley of Mines. In the Valley of Mines? We have dispatched an expedition there. We are also aware of reports that say the pass there is occupied by orcs. But thus far, no news has reached me of an army of evil. What army is that supposed to be? An army of dragons who have gathered hosts of their minions around them. Dragons? According to the old scriptures, it is many centuries since dragons were last sighted. Tell me, why should I believe a word you say? 
But the question isn't whether you can believe me. The question is whether you can afford not to believe me when I tell the truth. As long as I have no proof, I cannot afford to send even more men there. So you want me to bring you proof? Precisely. Cross the pass and go to the Valley of Mines. Once there, seek out the expedition, and when you have found them, speak to Commander Garond. If anyone knows the situation there, he will. If he confirms your words, then I am prepared to help you. Does that mean you'll hand over the Eye of Inos to me? The Eye of Inos? Good. Bring me proof. Then I shall see to it that you are permitted to wear the amulet. Then can I say I've got your word on this matter? You can, for you have it. Seems like a solid guy. How am I supposed to get across the pass? I shall give you the key to the gate to the pass. However, you will have to find your own way through the ranks of the orcs. May Inos protect you. Ah. Yeah, I'm gonna want better gear for sure. I want to take up service with the Order. To be a warrior of Inos means to devote yourself entirely to the cause of Inos. Only the noblest and bravest warriors are accepted into our Order. If you are truly determined to become a paladin, you must prove that you are worthy. Right. How can I prove myself worthy? Your deeds will show whether you are worthy. We fight for freedom and justice in the name of Inos. We fight against Beliar and his henchmen who want to destroy the just order of Inos. I understand. You understand nothing at all. Our honor is our life and our life is Inos. A paladin goes into battle praising Inos and many of us have lost our lives on the altar of the eternal strife between good and evil. Every single one of us has committed himself to this tradition. If we fail, we tarnish the deeds of our fallen comrades. Only he who truly understands this is worthy of being a paladin. Okay. Why have you come to Corinus? We are on an important mission for the kingdom. Our orders come directly from King Robar. I told you that we have sent an expedition to the Valley of Mines. That is the reason for our presence. Well, there we have it. It's chapter two. Presumably more monsters have spawned in. So hopefully I can do some XP farming. No and hopefully there's better gear lying around now too. That's been known a long Guess we can go test that by checking out what Bosper's got. After that, I think we're just going to call it a day. Can't go on like this forever. Start early, end early. I so it goes. Completely. All right. Please tell me you've got better stuff. There you are again. How are things in town? If the orcs really show up to besiege us, it's going to get unpleasant around here. There's only one ship and the paladins are guarding it, and I don't think they'll use it to rescue the citizens. Is there no other way of getting out of here? No, none of us can leave this island without a ship. Not what I heard. Show me your wares. Oh, oh yeah, way better stuff. A beach bow, longbow, ash bow, composites. Shit. But there's nothing in between the composite and the hunting bow, which is what I frickin' wanted. Because getting up to 60 dexterity is a lot. Okay, I can get a belt. That'll get me another 5 points. For 500 gold. Alright. But at that rate, like, I might need to start thinking about looking at strength builds. So I can use crossbows, but anyway, that'll be a debate I have to have with myself before next time. So we'll head off to the hotel and we'll go from there. Got our plans set out for quite a while now. More. 
I mean, it's still a side quest palooza, but you know. We'll get there eventually. Maybe I can get into the Thieves Guild now, too. Time will tell. Alright, that's a day's work, so please like, please subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Have a good one.